Well, you guys know how important that game two is in a regional and gives you a chance to get a little rest and uh, potentially saves you a game. So just so proud of how we played. I mean, we were clean. Lucas wasn't as sharp early, but he competed his tail off. Uh, Tristan followed up with a great outing. Uh, two guys that, you know, have just put themselves in a good spot uh, to be ready for that moment. And uh, tremendous job by our pitching. Uh, I thought Douglas Hodo was outstanding in center field today, as well as just just our routine plays. Um, but he had the big plays, a couple of, uh, threw one guy out and then the, the play off the wall in right center. But uh, And then showed some real guts on the bunt. Uh, foul ball hit him in the eye. Fortunately, you can see. Uh, but, but then offensively, you know, they pitched – really well and uh Krieger the kid that we've we've got the runs on he hadn't given given up much at all and you know we just grind it out at bats and we we didn't depend on the long ball today as much um of course we never like to see it leave us but uh we just had to do it different ways today and did a great job just playing and competing do you have a question raise your hand we'll start with just the player question Ivan, in that yeah. in that inning, what did y'all see from from Krieger, Krieger that allowed y'all to take advantage of what he was offering? Because he hadn't been hit like that most of the year. Yeah, um, I mean, coming out of the pen, he was just a sinker slider. Um, the first pitch, I swung over that slider by like a foot. Probably just the environment going crazy. I wanted to go out and get that pitch. So, um, you know, I tried my best to back it up, and that's what I did. And you know, I poked it out there, not trying to do too much. Drove in the run, which you know, my job, and you know, broke it up, broke up that. Um, Top ball game, so. Right, yeah. Yeah, Tristan, just what did it mean to you to have another chance to come back to Dish Falk and pitch as well as you did and help this program win a really big game? Yeah, um, I mean, ex that's exactly why I came back um, to help this team try to bring home a championship and whatever role that is, I'm going to give everything I got, whether it's start, relieve, or close. Um, that's just something I dreamt about and I'm going to do everything I can. Right, let me comment on that. Tristan came to me through a text and said, Coach, I'll do whatever it takes for us to get to this point. Uh, if you want me to start, you want me to come in in the middle of the game, you want me to close. And that's what's pretty special about him and uh, a lot of guys on this team. Danny, correct? Um, Tristan, just kind of going off what David said earlier, you know, how big is winning the second game and not having to play twice tomorrow and possibly again on Monday? Yeah, it's huge. You know, I think it's going to be 103 tomorrow or something like that. Um, to be able to let our players rest, you know, watch watch the teams compete and get ready for the final game, it's big, you know. Um, but the job's not finished. Anything can happen in baseball, so we got to take it. You know, they're going to give us their best punch. We just got to be ready and, and dish it back. Why, why did you send David that text message? What kind of went through your thought process about <clears throat> this, this may not be working, let's try to switch it up? Yeah, um, you know, I just want to win. I just want to win for this program. I just want to win for this team. You know, and whatever it takes to do it, I'm going to do it. I, I really don't care about my role. Um, I came back for one reason, and that was to bring home the squad dreams about a championship. So I'm going to do what I can to help this team do that and accomplish that. And so that's why I did what I did. And, you know, hopefully we can enjoy it with a dog pile. Can you throw tomorrow? <laughs> I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Yeah, Tristan, you come in in the sixth, and you got runners on the corners. You know, it's still a tie game. Feels like everybody in the stadium's on their feet. The biggest crowd that's ever been here for a college baseball game. You get the strikeout. Everybody goes wild. I mean, what's that moment like for you? I guess what are you kind of thinking in the moment? Are you thinking at all? Um, just what, what was that experience like? Yeah, I mean, I remember I told this to the players in the meeting. Like, those are my favorite moments. For me, that those moments are fun. Like. I've always dreamt about having the, the ball in that situation. You know, when the pressure's high and everyone's on their feet, no one knows what's gonna happen. Like that's that's when it's the game's the best for me. You know, I, people call me the fireman sometimes, but you know, I just I love those moments. Ivan, uh, you guys are, have made your name by banging this year, hitting a lot of home runs, and that little dribbler uh, that EK hit. Uh, that kind of started something. Uh, what does that say about your mentality and the fact that you can win in more ways than just hit home yeah. runs? Yeah. Um, you know, we're just trying to get on base. We're trying to pass the bat, trying to get that 90 feet. Um, you know, not always do we have to drive it out of the ballpark. We 
get on base, infield hits. You know, we have speed in our lineup. Um, obviously not me, but <laughs> everybody else. You know. Oh, <laughs> We get it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we just find ways to get on base. We grind out abs, um, you know, a bunch of deep counts, and uh, but yeah, that's basically it. So one last one for the players, Kirk. Go ahead. Yeah, did he think ek was running the bases or something when he sent you, or he just get greedy or what? It, it is what it is. Oh, I mean, <laughs> just playing shallow. No, well, we've already broke that play down. Yeah, I have to make a better slide, uh, ninety foot slide, which which is what coach preaches. And I didn't do that, so. Yeah. All right, Tristan, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's some rest. Good job, guys. Good job. Get some rest. Questions for Coach? Um, I know Joe's got a base running question right now. <laughs> um, Lane, Lane may have suggested that uh, in the seventh that Trigger may have been tipping pitches. Is, is that something you all saw, or is it just a, a healthy approach that – Ended with those scouting, to be honest with you, really good scouting, understanding what he's going to do, um, understanding who we are, and just being in a good spot. Coach, uh, big game coming up. You know they're going to throw out there as a starter yet, or are you all still going to kind of sit down as a staff and work through that uh, based, on, based on who you're going to see on the other, other side? Uh, it's, it's not determined yet. Um, We've had some pretty lengthy discussions already and just kind of look at matchups and kind of see best mentality. In the big innings you all have had this year, it's, there's always been like home runs, yeah. big hits, but you all pieced together a nice inning to, to make to make it a lot easier on Tristan. Um, what does that say about the mentality of your guys? Well, I think it starts with what one of the questions was about the home run and, and honestly we, we talk a lot about scoring in multiple ways and having that ability without forcing uh, the power um, and our power will show up but I just thought we did a good job of fighting with two strikes that we have in the last two games and just it's just about a mentality to be honest with you just you know we do a good job of scouting do a good job of knowing what the opposing pitcher is going to do or I feel like we got a high percentage but our guys just have an unbelievable mentality in the box. Um, I think you talk about toughness. You talk about the ability to, you know, you know be in that moment and be yourself and, and not give in. And and I think our our kids have just exemplified that. This entire group has just in, exemplified that uh, since they've been here. Uh, when they were young freshmen, you know, trying to figure it out and play at this level to now where you know, they're just not very denied, uh, I guess. It, they're going to go down fighting or they're going to um, fight till the end, no matter what. On your left, Coach Danny. David, what was the conversation with the with the crew in the second inning? And with as charged up as your guys can get, do you ever have to tell them, hey, we can't afford you yeah, know, anything I mean, bad happening? Was, I, actually, it was uh, – the hit by pitch was uh, that I haven't got hit by fastball running in. We've seen that multiple times, and we understand they're trying to crowd him, um, but we still got a lot of baseball to play. It just gets a little frustrating. I think the other three were backed up sliders, um, but I think our guys were still in a good spot until the end of the inning, and I think he got a little upset and kind of, you know. Started chirping, which is normal. I mean, I'm not blaming their kid at all. Uh, and then we reciprocated. But at the same time, it's just you want to make sure that your guys have their composure so we don't lose a guy and has to sit one to four games or whatever. So um, the conversation was just that, and then it was a warning to both teams. Did you feel any frustration building in the dugout? You got to get three, oh, no. three hits through six innings and no, living I, on the edge. I think if so, we wouldn't have had that ability to come back. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I've noticed with this group. They just play, and they like playing. They mm -hmm. like competing. They talk a lot about it's just the way we like it. They talk a lot about we like it hard. Yeah. And we like it tough. And uh, that's fun to hear players say that. And they left 13 on base. I guess that was the best – 13 hitter you've ever seen your pitching staff do, right? Well, uh, one base on ball and 11 punches and two runs. 
We'll take it. <laughs> However it happens. Yeah. Uh, Joe, you don't need that mic. Tr Tr Tristan wasn't Tristan wasn't drafted last year. He's kind of an older guy. I mean, it, this once his career's done here, maybe done playing baseball. Has he talked with you not just about any role, but kind of saying like, wear, wear me out. You know, use me as much as you need. And how do you do that, but also <laughs> not wear him out to where he's not <laughs> effective anymore? You'd be surprised how many of our guys have come to me and said that. And he's leading the pack. Um, some. Our frontline guys are saying that. Uh, he's constantly said that. Um, they have a lot of pride in playing for Texas. I mean, they came to play for Texas. And then you get here and you play for each other. And then, I mean, how do you not want the ball in that environment? Yeah, it, it, it's just it, the environment has been off the charts this entire year. Our fan base has been absolutely, absolutely incredible. And tonight we set a record of the most it's ever seen a ball game here. So it's been consistent. It's been fun. Uh, they've embraced this team. And this team's embraced uh, kind of the, I guess, the, the just the whole piece of coming to Texas and, and representing that uh, it's been awesome. Yeah, David, uh, Doug made a couple of huge plays for you all in the in the fifth inning. Might probably saved you some runs. Just, you know, what did you think of those plays and just how important has he been for you all having a guy out there who, who can do that for you and kind of have your pitcher's backs? Big time. I mean, Douglas went out and when he threw the ball, I, didn't, I wasn't real sure he was going to throw the guy out. But good feet work, good transfer, threw it accurately. Uh, the Trey did a good job of kind of protecting the back runner as well. Um, by just making him stay at, at first, but yeah, hell of a throw. Uh, and then to to go get the ball, and I tell him all the time, he gets tired of hearing me say it. But when you make plays like that, that's what a center fielder is supposed to do. Um, and so he has a lot of pride. In, yeah, that's a big play. I'm staying on Doug. Um, when the season ended last year, was he the clear cut guy to replace Mike, or is that something he kind of earned through the fall? Uh, it was a challenge through the fall of a few guys, um, but he separated himself pretty quickly. I think the biggest concern we had going into it is not whether or not he could play the position, but if, if he had the leadership role to play the position, uh, to be the quarterback, to be the guy that's in charge and takes charge, and he's done a great job of it because he's not a very loud kid, as you guys know. <laughs>